So I just finished up the Nintendo Direct for E3 2021, and my god, Nintendo pretty much owns the uh, digital events, and they kind of shown it here. I don't know if it's better than Microsoft's, but it might be, might just be, or they're kind of close to it. Now, some of the stuff they announced, new Metroid, they shown off Breath of the Wild 2, Shin Megami Tensei 5, Advance Wars 1 and 2, remasters. One thing they didn't show was any of the Pokemon stuff, which is kind of confusing to me since it's a game that comes out this uh, holiday and it's the 25th anniversary. We did get a lot of Zelda, though, rather than that Game & Watch thing that I don't know who that is for. I am maybe just collectors, but there was a lot of heavy hitting games on this thing. I mean, if you wanted Metroid, you got Metroid. It's called Metroid Dread, which is a two two point five D platformer similar to what you've seen back in the day with the original Metroids. Uh, they said they were still working on Metroid Four, but they didn't give any uh, new timelines on it or anything like that. Um, you know, we got to see Zelda, Skyward World HD, um, a Daganropa, um, a bunch of games that I'm not too familiar with. Um, you know, you got the new Monster Hunter stories, and it was pretty damn good. They did omit the fact that there is no Switch Pro, which that's been something people have been rumoring for a while, and I'm kind of surprised they didn't show that off. But, you know, that could be something they might be holding tight or maybe something that's not coming at all. And then again, they could just be making a new version of the Switch that we just don't know about. But I sometimes, you know, watching these Nintendo Directs kind of miss Iwata. Like, I miss Iwata a whole lot and Reggie. And, you know, I kind of feel like the soul was kind of taken out of it. But, again, Nintendo done great with this. It was a great Direct. Um, I don't really find any issues with it. I was surprised with the pick for the Smash Brothers DLC character. Um, I'm not a Tekken fan, and my my bet was Master Chief for some reason, because I figured, you know, since Microsoft let them use uh, Banjo, maybe they would use Master Chief, but I believe it was somebody from Tekken, which makes sense. I mean, um... That is, they do have uh, Street Fighter characters, and I think King of the Fighters, stuff like that. But I mean, really, it wasn't a bad event. I, um, you know, I kind of wish it was a little bit longer. Um, maybe shown off some Pokemon stuff. That's what I was really hoping for. I was hoping for more Pokemon, maybe Arceus, uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes. Um, shit, we we did get a lot of Zelda. So I mean. If you're a Zelda fan and you're a Metroid fan, this was right up your alley. I, I mean, it was pretty damn good. I like, like I said, it's there's nothing I can take that was bad from this. Um, I did see in the chat people whenever the Kingdom Battles two came out, uh, people were saying cringe, cringe. I was just reading that chat. I was like, man, <laughs> they're totally assaulting this game. Which I've got the first game. I never played it, but I do have it. Maybe that's something I need to do. Uh, Fatal Frame is getting uh, moved over to the Switch, which I'm pretty excited about. I've never played a Fatal Frame game, and that one looks pretty spooky. I do love me some spooky games, and hopefully that's pretty good. Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about Advanced Wars 1 and 2. I used to play Advanced Wars when it originally came out. I think it was on the Game Boy Advance. I really enjoyed those games, and I never thought we would see them come back, but they rebuilt the 1 and 2 from the ground up. Uh, we also got a new WarioWare game, which is pretty cool. If you like the mini uh, games that all the other WarioWare games like, uh, like Smooth Moves, that's kind of what we're seeing there. So that's probably definitely a buy. Um, let's see, what else was there? Uh, Mario Golf. Um, that was cool. I, I, I'm not interested in it, but it was, you know, it was cool. Um, Shin Megami Tensei 5, I already talked about that. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, so they did Hyrule Warriors DLC, as well as Doom DLC. They did announce a lot of, like, expansion packs. 
uh, and digital stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I I buy most of my Switch games physical, so it's really no big deal. But I really like it. Uh, I'll give it a B plus for sure. Um, I'd say it's I say Microsoft and Nintendo was pretty close to each other. I mean, that's pretty damn close. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're a Zelda fan, you basically won E3. Let's just put it that way. Zelda and Metroid fran- fans won, but ultimately gamers won. And I'm just happy that they came out swinging, and hopefully next year we can have something even better. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon.